This is James Mathers for the Digital Cinema Society. I'm here at Hot Rod Cameras in Burbank, California, and we're going to do a little testing of anamorphic lenses today. My friend and cinematographer Cameron Cannon, uh, when we were shooting our interviews at uh, NAB, uh, noticed this nice uh, anamorphic uh, lens from PNS Technic. It's a zoom uh, that's a 3.2 aperture, so it's uh, pretty fast. It's uh, 35 to 70, and it's fairly lightweight. He has a project coming up where he'll be uh, doing handheld and uh, steady cam, and so it seems to fit the bill. But we wanted to test and see what uh, what the features of the anamorphic would be. It's going to be a 1.5 squeeze. That's the most you can get on a 16 by 9 sensor. Uh, right now you're looking at uh, uh, a Vericam uh, V35 and the lens is a uh, Fujinon 25 to 300. Uh, right now I believe we're at uh, 25 mils and we're going to switch to the anamorphic and get a similar size and the things that you'll want to compare are uh, the bokeh on the highlights in the background, the flare, I'm going to do a similar flare when I uh, switch to the other lens. And we're also going to try a 50 millimeter, that's uh, I believe a T2.8, uh, also anamorphic from uh, PNS Technic. They have a whole set, but uh, we just have this one here today. So now we're looking at the zoom, uh, the 35 to 70 millimeter. It's right now at about a 37 millimeter, and that is uh, trying to be uh, equivalent frame size to when we shot with the spherical on the zoom at 25 millimeter. So note the bokeh uh, over my shoulder on the wide. Note the flare. Different characteristics, of course. It's got that great anamorphic flare. Now we're a little tighter. Uh, this is the equivalent of the long end of the PNS Technic Zoom 70 millimeter. Uh, still, we're on a spherical lens, and here's what we get with the flare. And of course, you can see the uh, the bokeh, the fall off behind me. Uh, this is an example of uh, spherical uh, bokeh. Now we're looking at the 70 millimeter, the long end of the 35 to 70 millimeter. Uh, PNS Technic anamorphic lens. Note the uh, the bokeh on the lights over my shoulder, and the flare on the tighter size. Now you're looking at the 50 millimeter uh, PNS Technic anamorphic prime. It might be a little bit different uh, character than the zoom, and uh, of course it's smaller and faster. That's the flare, and notice the bokeh on the lights over my shoulder. To wrap up, we're back to our spherical uh, zoom lens uh, from Fujinon, and what I'm holding here is the PNS Technic uh, 35 to 70 on my Vericam LT, uh, powered with a Anton Bauer uh, Dionic XT uh, 150, which is very lightweight uh, uh, battery, but quite powerful, and uh, it makes a nice combination, easy to handheld. So I'd like to thank uh, my crew. Cameron Cannon is shooting today. Uh, Christopher Nell is uh, helping us with sound. And Hot Rod Camera for providing the, the, the space to shoot here. And of course, uh, PNS Technic for uh, loaning us the um, anamorphic lenses to test. Mm -hmm.